Hey everybody, what's up? Show you guys a quick little uh, hack I just kind of, I don't know, randomly doing here. Now, this is an LED bar that I got from uh, Kmart. It's close to the campus I work at. And they were clearing some out for like eight bucks a piece. So I bought the last three that they had. So I have no interior, no dome light inside my Jeep except for that little magnet contraption I showed you guys on one of my other videos, which I'll put a link to. But I bought this little bar here. And the tear in my roll bar padding was already there, so I don't suggest you guys knocking holes in your pad if you got good padding. But since the hole was there, I went ahead and utilized it. So I run my cable around through here. And what I did was, from the package it comes a little push button. And I'll show you guys on one of the other ones. It comes a little push button thing that you just, well, push and how you test it on the shelf but I wired up this little rocker switch. Flip the rocker switch. Look at there, I got interior light. Turn it back off, turn it on, turn it off. So, that little contraption right there is a little box of batteries that came in the package itself. Now, being that you don't turn the uh, dome light on all the time, this thing may last for a pretty good while before this battery right here goes bad. And when it does go bad, you can replace those little batteries if you want to, or actually run you a 12 volt source. But as of right now, I'm just going to well, tuck it off inside here, and I'll show you in just a moment. I mean, it's just going to be kind of halfway rigged in for the moment, because I've mentioned on one of my other videos, I'm going to do an overhead console, and I'll wire it all in correctly then. So, be right back. Alright, you see I just kind of got the switch just kind of stuck out like that. And I really don't have enough wire to tuck the battery pack. If you can get the battery pack all the way back here, it'd be great. I could strip off enough insulation to get it back there, but I'm not going to at the moment. This is just temporary anyway. It's a junkyard the other day and found me some speakers out of an old car. Some, um, I think they were Sony's or Pioneer's. I can't remember right off. So I'm going to start getting ready to custom fabricate me a uh, sound bar up here. And when I start doing the sound bar, I'll integrate all that wiring into the sound bar, then my center console that I've mentioned a time or two. So anyway, see, so I got my switch up there. I'll get these reach back. Put that. Ta da! I got a makeshift interior light for the moment. When I was at the Jeep, I showed you guys the light I put up on the for, uh, interior light. Here's what I used. Now, in case you guys see it at your local department store, which are what that might be. Like I said, this right here was at a um, Kmart near the campus I work at. And I think I got these for like $8, but they were regularly priced like, I don't know, close to $20. And these little LEDs, they ain't no joke, they're bright. Close your eyes, uh, not really, haha. Uh -huh. See, they're pretty bright. So here's what I did. Kept these babies open. And here we get this two side mounting tape, a couple of screws if you need them. Now, don't get all too froggy bringing these things out of the package because this is kind of attached to the plastic here because of the little test button. So, take this little ring right here, pull it back. Which pulls this off a little, allows you to get that paper split back. Because I'm trying to keep all the wiring intact, is what I was doing. You notice I've got the scissors going all the way through. There's the tip of the scissors. That way I just split that. I can bring that paper out of there. Okay, now we gotta get the. Uh, plastic off this, push that through. Get that. Split it out of the way. Ta -da. And there's what we got. Here's a little battery pack that I showed you out there. This is the switch that comes on, you know, when it's on the display, on the sh uh, display shelves. Test me. Beep. Push the button. You test it. We Inside this right here is the little batteries. 
Uh, do, do. And you got quite a bit of cord here. I mean, I can't, of course, the camera's not going to pick it all up, but I'm guessing you've got about, eh, pushing about four feet, I guess. Okay, give me just a second. We're going to open this battery pack up here, see what's in there. Be right back. Alright, I had to go give me a bleed so we can pry this sucker open. Be careful, don't cut yourself. I guess it'll come apart. I don't know. There we go. Ah, it's got a whole bunch of those little batteries like that in it. Gotcha. Well, honestly, if all those batteries are there go bad, or eventually go dead, or whatever the case may be, I'm going to wire 12 volts to it. I ain't buying all those batteries. So, snap out like that. Now, what I did for the mod, see where this hooks into the switch here, this little push button switch? I clipped it there, and clipped it there, and just stripped them back and put little butt connectors on them. Not butt connectors, but uh, female spade connectors, and slid them up on that switch. Therefore, I had a little rocker switch to turn the light on and off with. And so I'll probably put one of these in the back, you know, the back cargo area to uh, illuminate things back there. And I've got a third one. I ain't sure what I'm going to do. Oh, under hood light. That's what I was going to do with it. Because it'll be great under the hood. So, there you go. Okay, Gordon. Well, obviously, it's dark outside. See? It's dark. Now, take my little interior light for a drive here. This is the one mounted up on the roll bar. Well, I ain't put the other ones in yet, so it has to be that one. All right, ready? Lights on. That's a pretty good job. The beats having nothing anyway. So whenever I put my sound bar, my center console, and everything in, I'm gonna mount that in there. There's my little light, all glowy. Come around to the back. See the back side of the seats right there. So it lights are pretty decent. It lights up enough. Like I said, beats, beats what I had. And whenever I wire and all that console stuff, overhead sound bar and all that, I wire actual 12 volts to it to make it better. Thank you everyone for checking out my video. First of all, I want to say something. Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. I hope you guys have a great, happy holidays. Well, now that I release this, Christmas pretty much over with. I still want to wish you, hope you had a Merry Christmas and a happy, a happy New Year. So, thank you for checking out my video. And you know, these little lights are pretty neat actually, because that's when I walk through there, I seen them on clearance and I seen the little LED bars, I picked them up, bent them a little bit, and said, hey, they're aluminum structure, pretty tough. So, first thing I thought, dee, light bulb came on, I had an idea. Get it? Alright, fine. Anyway, I seen they were pretty cheap. I made a dome light out of one. Gonna be probably doing a um, like the rear cargo area and probably doing a under the hood. I'm kind of experimenting with the under the hood thing since I've got a couple of different ideas I want to play with on that one. It may not be these, it may, who knows. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If you got any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And don't forget, Facebook, YouTube, your own YouTube channel, Google+, Twitter, Instagram. Share out the video. When you share out the video, you're sharing knowledge. When you share knowledge, you're helping everyone. Let's all do that. So once you get through sharing out the video to everybody, I want you to go to www.fixjeeps.com. Check it out. That's where this video and all my other ones land right there, along with some lots of great information about the little Jeep YJs and some uh, TJs and I've got a, a ZJ on there also we did a power steering pump thing so go check it out lots of great information so again if you like the uh, video thumbs up subscribe if you have it and everyone most of all I want you after YouTube land have yourself a great day peace out later